Good evening, everyone, to this uh, post-match conference, uh, post conference with uh, Inter head coach Simone Inzaghi. We'll have um, Italian, English, Spanish and Turkish translations available. Uh, when you ask a question and raise your hand, please indicate the name and the name of your organization. Prego. Thomas. Un secondo. Well, you can hold your heads up high. You were, you were almost there. You were always in the game. So, what's the greatest regret? Well, it's we we do, we do have regrets because a defeat is the worst thing in sport. But at the same time, I had to congratulate my lads. They were clearly sad. I'm very disappointed, but they must be proud of their campaign or and of the final they played. They played a great game tonight. Obviously, we didn't deserve to lose. We played against a top team, absolutely. But even Inter played a great final. Hi, Simone, one football. What can you tell Inter fans after tonight's match? I can tell Inter fans that they are just like my lads. I would hug them one by one because they were fantastic throughout all the campaign. In all the 20 months I've been with Inter, we've gone through beautiful moments. We have experienced some bad moments as well. And it would have been fantastic to share this trophy again with them defeating the strongest team in the world but again we were there the whole time we were on a par with man city so we're all very disappointed and as i said yesterday i would never change my players with anyone else with any other players and tonight everyone saw why i said so good evening before the match, your brother, Pipo, joking, said he doubted you could sleep well before the match. Did you get some good sleep? You might have gotten some good sleep. But tonight, I believe you might have some problems sleeping because it's difficult to actually play better than you did today. The, this is football. These disappointments can allow you to grow further, to mature. Clearly, a final of a Champions League played this way against such an opponent. Again, I wonder why in those final 25 minutes, we really almost scored. We hit the crossbar. The ball was one centimeter from the line. Uh, our play that hits a teammate, that hits the ball, sends the ball against a teammate. So sometimes things go this way. We didn't manage to to score we didn't manage to get things right but again my lads can hold their heads up and be proud because they played a great final match Diola always wanted to win the What did you Well, Man City has deserved the Champions League. I was considering what they've done in the past years. And tonight they played a great against a great Inter which uh, uh, cornered them. Uh, but I congratulated Guardiola because they, they've always been in the Champions League. They went close to winning it several times. So, though I must say I would have wanted them to wait a little longer. Above all, congratulations because Inter fans will remember you regardless because of this match. Uh, you mentioned Liverpool as a key moment of the last season. A moment when you perceived that this team in Europe could perform well. Was that fuel? Was that, did that give you the fuel to reach the final this year? Could this final 
give you further momentum to perhaps reach it again next year. Absolutely, that is the case. We know it is a very long path, a very difficult path, but the team has proved over the past three years, three months when it had all the players available, that it is up to this competition and we can really have our say in this competition. Inter had reached the round of 16 in champions for quite a while. We got there last year against Liverpool. And a match I would have really wanted to replay was the return leg against Liverpool because last year I understood, I realised, I somehow realised that this team could go well beyond the round of 16. Uh, it's not a matter of the last 12 years. You have to look at how we have gained a mentality, a new approach. We have gathered experience. The players have gathered experience. And surely we will try to do it again with great pride as we did this year as we did last year we played a good champions league last year we played real madrid and liverpool don't forget that which then reached the final by the way so in four matches they never really outplayed inter Was the game? Did the, so did did everything go as you planned, or did anything happen out of your plan? And in the last moments, there was a moment uh, Lukaku missed the goal. What would you say about this goal? The miss by Lukaku in the last moments of the game. In the more final moments, uh, Lukaku, Di Marco, goals, and so we had a whole lot of chances. Again, we deserved more. That's the match we had planned. We, the first half, I must have to view the match again but in the first half perhaps we could do even a bit better in terms of ball possession than in the second half you know it's a final and the there were the great stakes at play so what really makes me proud is that we have played against Manchester City and our goalkeeper had only one save against Fodham because you just said that I would never change my place with any other player, with no other player. Is it possible that right now everyone has realized your international dimension and that Inter would never change coach, considering what uh, you did in the first half? In the first half, you really had best ball possession. You really almost outplayed them. In the second half, you had your opportunities to win again. Do you think you have become a top international coach? Well, time shall tell and people, everyone will have their own opinion. But what really makes me proud is what these lads did. The, I'm proud, they must be proud of their campaign, how they played this match against City. If you look at the way City played against Real Madrid and Bayern Munich, you will say, no, in Man City are the favourites. But this morning, when I met, when I talked to the to my lads, it, I told them that would not be the case. It, it, things would have not gone as everyone was expecting. I told them it would be a very balanced match and it was just a... In the end, it was just the details. We had to be perhaps uh, more, a little more lucky, but I don't really don't believe in luck. We had to be better in the single details and make things positive for us. But again, we are very, very disappointed, but I'm proud. I hugged my players one by one. I would have wanted to hug the fans one by one here in Istanbul and the fans in Milan because they really gave us that extra boost, unique thrills. We did suffer a couple of defeats, but I 
that's no match for all the thrills we experienced, the semifinals, the quarterfinals, the round of 16, the silverware we have won over the past 20 months. I mean, if you consider that the last 12 years we had won one Italian Serie A title, but over the last 20 months we played three finals. One was the Champions League final. So if you get used to playing this sort of match, that's always good. Even the, if this was our first final final of the Champions League, it seemed that we were quite experienced. 